What's up everybody out there? This is Aaron here. Another deck profile. Here, Black Wings. Black Wings, a fun deck to do. It's a swarming deck, which means like in one turn you could summon out maybe already more than one monster or let's just say two monsters just in one turn. Just like a Light Sworn deck when you can play that many monsters also in one turn but you do not mill with this deck, but it's very, very fun to do. I don't know how many people still play Black Wings, but this is my Black Wing deck. And there are some different varieties of how I play in the Black Wing deck. So further ado, here we go. To Sirocco. Sirocco can be normal summoned from the hand, even though if it's a level five monster, when you when you have no monsters and your opponent has monsters. So think of it as a cyber dragon, except cyber dragon is special summoned when you have no monsters and your opponent has monsters. Sirocco is just a, le um, just a normal summon. Now his effect is, it gains the equal attack of all face up black wing monsters on the field. Now you can switch this to a different black wing and that's the only black wing that would attack. So for how many black wings you have, you can increase that all to one black wing monster. Even if you wanted to do it to your own Sirocco and it becomes that attack. That's the only monster that would attack and it gains that much attack. That is Sirocco. Gale. Gale is particularly the best one. Best tuner possibly of the whole entire game. It can be special summon when you have another black wing on the field. And the effect is you can cut the you can cut half of the attack and defense of one face-up monster your opponent controls. And it's permanent. It's not temporary or just for that one turn. It can go back. No, it's permanent. So even if you had it for a second turn and you do it again to another monster, it would be cut again a second time. So that's cool about Gale. Automatically, it would hit a monster, it gets cut in half, and it stays at that attack. So even if your Gale got destroyed, it's still that effect of your, your opponent's monster being cut in half. The three, Blackwing Shura. Blackwing Shura. When this card destroys an opponent opponent's monster by battle, and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon one black wing monster with 15 attack or less from the deck. But that effect is negated. So not bad to destroy a monster and you can summon out a monster. The spear. If you control a black wing monster other than Bora the spear, you can special summon this card. And it does piercing damage if you hit a defense position monster. Now, again, by Sirocco, if you're going against a face down or you're going against one of your opponent's face ups, um, face up monsters that's in defense mode, that's almost like bar this. Um, you can send this attack to bar the spear for how many black wings. So, almost like Sirocco's effect, if you wish to send it, and it can your opponent will take a lot of damage to their defense position monster. The Blackwing Kalu. When a Blackwing monster you control attack attacks or is attacked, you can send this card from the graveyard, from your hand to the graveyard, it gains 14 attacks. So it's almost like an honest, except this is only for the black wings. It gains 14 attack. So even if you had all three of these or you just had two in your hand, you wish to play all three or just all two, it'll gain 14 attack. The Blizzard cannot be special summon, but when normal summon, you can special summon a level four or lower black wing monster from your graveyard to defense position. The black wing Chris. When normal summon, you can special summon. If you control a black wing monster, other than black wing Chris, you can special summon this card. You can only special summon Blackwing Chris once per turn that way. Once per turn, 
it cannot be destroyed by spell or trap card effects. And my last monster, the Sererhos. If this card is in your graveyard, you can return one face-up card you control to the to the hand. Special summon this card. And if you do take 400 points of damage, you can only use this effect once per the duel. Now, not bad to get something back and you're only taking 400 points of damage. So it's not that bad of an idea. Okay. Those are monsters. Go with magics. The three Blackwing Whirlwind. When a Blackwing monster is normal summoned to your side of the field, you can add one Blackwing monster from your deck to your hand that has less attack than the one you just summoned out. So it's almost like you're reinforcing the army to all the to the black wings. Now, even if you had the two or the three out, you're gonna search that many. So it's almost like if you had Whirlwind out first, you played Sirocco, you can search for any. So it's almost like, again, you can go Gale, Bora, and let's say you want Kalut. Kalut you can have in your hand, but when you have a black wing out, that's Gale's effect. You can special summon. When another black wing is on the field, you can special summon because that's the effect of Bore the Spear. So that's what I meant by you can just at least in one turn, if you can, summon out maybe three monsters. And yeah, this would be your fourth monster, but you want Kalut for your backup. So that's how black wings work. So that's an example of Whirlwind, and I'll show you a bit more about Whirlwind. Monster Reborn. Now this is somewhat like Monster Reborn, except this is for Dark Monsters. If you wish to play in Dark Decks. Dark Eruption. Dark Eruption, add one Dark Monster with 15 attack or less from your graveyard to your hand. Now, what would you need for Dark Eruption? If you need your Gale, that's 13 attack. If you wish to Synchro again, but you cannot Special Summon, get your Blizzard back. If you need something, if you need your backup, get your Kalut back. They are less than 15 attack. and then add it from your hand. They're not special summon. You just get these right back. Because again, if you use Blizzard, but you need it again, it cannot be special summon, but you can get this back to your hand. And when it is normal summon, it does the effect of bringing a Blackwing from the graveyard to the field in defense position. Now, of course, Raigeki. And then again, with the rules of the game, they brought Dark Hole to three but I use two. I don't know why they did this, but yeah, Dark Hole's at three, but I use two. Because I would count as my substitute for Regeki. Destroy all monsters on the field. Everyone knows Dark Hole. Traps. Stormy Mirror Force. Mirror Force, Quakey Mirror Force, Icarus Attack. By tributing one wing type beast monster on your side of the field, destroy two cards in the field. All the black wings are wing beasts. So it's good to have out. Even if you have to sacrifice one of your own, you want to destroy your opponent's monsters or magic and traps that you particularly know they might have, or let's just say yes, monsters. You want to stop them from playing their combo of rather going to Synchro, XC, Fusion, or Link. Think of anything. Or you want to stop their attack if, I don't know, just anything. They're going to tribute. They're going to... Have a field spell out, maybe you just want to destroy those before them doing anything. Call the Haunted. Now, these are my new ones I put in the deck. 
and they work completely well. I don't see people using this in their main decks, but why not put in compulsory evacuation device? Reason, target one monster, return that target to the hand. Why not run it? Because think of it, they're going to have something, send it right back. They're going to exceed it and before they even do their play, send it back. They're going to synchro, send it back. They have a tuner or a monster that they can just special, like, think of it, they needed a monster, like they have their combo of bringing out a monster, but send it back. So they possibly have to wait another turn or a couple turns to redo their play before they can do that effect again or summon out, what, whichever it is. You stop them from a link. Now again, links, you cannot put them face down, but you can target them. So why not do it for compulsory evacuation device? Before they do a link, of course, yeah, it requires using your monsters. So maybe they have to wait a turn, like I just said, for link. So you can stop them from a turn from them even doing link again, because they sacrificed their monsters already. So yeah, you, you just stop them. They're gonna throw away their monsters to make a link, but when you compulsory evacuation device their monster, it sends back, they just wasted their cards. So they have to wait another turn before they can do another, before they can do the same link, or they're just gonna do another kind of link. But they have to wait because they just wasted their cards. Now for extra, okay. Black wing, nothing, nothing the starlight. Now, okay. If this card is special summon, inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent. Then, one face up monster your opponent controls loses 800 attack and defense. You can only use this effect once per turn. During your main phase, you can special, you can normal summon one Blackwing monster in addition to your normal summon or set. Of course, the normal the, um, normal Blackwing armed wing. Now to do these, you need a black wing tuner. If this card attacks and defense position monster, it gains 500 attack during the damage step only. Now, okay. Again, just like if you have this out and you have Bora, you can switch it to your black wing arm doing if you wish to. Almost like spear, but this is way more attack and way more crazier. And it'll gain the 500 attack. The Tamer, Hawk Joe, that's the way we say it. Again, a Black Queen Tuner you need. When this is Synchro Summon, you can target one level five or higher Wing Beast monster in your graveyard. Special Summon it. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets only this card, or when your opponent or when your opponent targets this card for an attack, you can target one other black wing monster you control. That would be the appropriate attack instead. So most likely you're switching your attack to, you don't want this to be attacked. You want another just black wing to be attacked because you need the Hawk still on the field. You can switch the attack. And it's only once per turn. So if you add more monsters out, you can only choose one. And if it, if they still had a way of attacking it, well, it's gonna be attacked. Out of all synchro monsters, this is my favorite one out of all. And it's the Blackwing Armor Master. You need a Blackwing Tuner. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. <laughs> it's immortal. And you take no battle damage involving this card. What a cool effect. If this card attacks a monster, you can place one wedge counter on that monster at the end of the damage step. You can remove all wedge counters from your opponents to reduce the attack and defense of each monster that had a wedge counter until zero. So what I mean by that, if you had this out and you had another black wing out, 
you just placed when you attacked you can put a wedge counter on your monster now let's say a monster is maybe like four thousand attack put a wedge counter on it take out the wedge counter and you can still make your attack you just made that four thousand attack monster to zero attack they take 13 points of damage and you just wiped out a monster that was 4,000 attack because of Armor Master. Or when you would be attacked and you have Armor Master out, you don't take any damage. You take nothing. <laughs> so it's almost like an immortal synchro monster. My favorite out of all. Of course, the Black Rose Dragon. Now, this is my favorite dragon. You can destroy all cards on the field. So most likely blow up the entire field. Now out of dragons, this is my favorite one. And then the only link I use, Deco Talker, because there are ways of linking this pretty easy. And if you have the chance, you can synchro. Now, why I don't use um, Exceed, it's because in this deck, I don't like to Exceed. I just like to Synchro, since there's more Synchro monsters than Exceed monsters. So, here we go. As usual. Whirlwind. Sirocco. Kalutz. Bora. Dark Eruption. Your five cards. Your draw. Compulsory Evacuation of Ice. So. Activate Black Wing Whirlwind. They have a monster out, you don't. Sirocco. So, let's just say you wanna search for. Okay, it has to be 19 or less. So, let's search for. You want your Gale. Now. Bora's effect, when you have another Blackwing out, special summon it. When you have another Blackwing monster out, special summon it. One turn already, you just summoned out three monsters. Maybe next you want to go Gale. Gale's effect, hit a monster, it gets cut in half, permanent. Now you can rather Synchro. Or, already, you can do the link, because that's three monsters instantly, to play a link. Now you still got this. Maybe you just want to compulse, face down. End your turn. So you have Kalu, Dark Eruption. Hopefully they don't have a way of destroying Deco Taka, but they have monsters. Or are they gonna do something? Play Compulse. Send that stuff back. So you draw, okay. So you have Kalu, Dark Eruption, Whirlwind out, Deco Talker out on the field. Okay, your graveyard. You draw. Sure. So, summon out Blackwing Sure. Blackwing Whirlwind gets activated. Maybe you just want another Kalut, so you have double Kalutes. Now here's the thing. Dark Eruption. 15 attack or less. What can you get from your graveyard? Gale. 
Gale's effect when you have another Blackwing out. Special summon. Now, you have Deco Takara. Sure, Gale. But it's a tuner. Synchro. Maybe you want to go your Johawk. Now, the reason of that special summon a level 5 from the graveyard or higher. You have your Sirocco. This is what you got. Now, Deco Talker, Ken. Of course, yeah, you're going to play your Synchro because it's arrowed to your Deco Talker. Now, okay. So you have two clues. You draw Serejos. So I'm not Serejos. Maybe you want to go Blizzard because it's less than 16 and then that's the effect of Whirlwind. So you have these three out. So you have your backup right here if you were to attack or they would be attacked. You got your Kalut, maybe you want to play one, increase a monster that it would be attacked by 14, or you want to double it. Now again here, maybe you want to do a high attack. So basically, go Sirocco's effect. It would gain 26, gain 16, or you can switch it to another Blackwing. So let's say you want to do it to your Hawk. It would gain 2,000, 16 to this one right here. It's the only one that can attack. Or you want more monsters out? Okay, Blizzard. Blizzard's effect can bring one back. But it gets switched to defense mode. Now maybe, let's just say you want to go to... Sure. Five monsters out. And you still have your back right here. Maybe again, Synchro. Maybe you want to go into your... Yes, your nothing. That's what it's called. When this is a special summon, your opponent takes 800 points of damage. You choose a monster. Their attack and defense loses 800 attack. And then maybe again, Sirocco. Maybe you want to do it to your nothing instead. So against 2,000, against 26, against 16. And if you wish to do more damage, like let's say you want to end the game, or any of them would be attacked, put the Kalutes on to make it way more higher attack. When you have Icarus attack, let's just say you have all this up, but it's not a bad idea when you do this. This is what I mean. Okay, I'll show you again the five. So you had your five right here. Now let's say you have Dark Eruption in your hand. That's the only card you have. So fine, Icarus attack. Icarus attack. Maybe you just want to destroy their Blizzard. Destroy two of the cards or destroy just your own. Who knows? Whichever you choose to do. But you need stuff. Because particularly, okay, let's just say, okay, yeah. Dark Eruption and Gale you had. Now, if they had nothing and you wanted to destroy your own, so let's just say Bora and Blizzard you just destroyed. My mistake. Your draw is Gale. So, special summon out Gale. My mistake. Let's go Dark Eruption. Get Blizzard. So you had you had no space to play Gale. So basically, Dark Eruption. Go to your Blizzard. Special summon out your Gale. Do the effect of Gale. Now you do have some space because maybe you wanted a Synchro. Or you just had a better advantage if you had Gale. Or just whatever you could think of. Maybe then. Armor Master. The Black Wings are fun to do. Fun deck. So yeah. No Solemn Strikes. No anything like that. But Compulse, I would say. Why not? Cool thing to do. Or if any of your Black Wings would be destroyed... Or you needed them. You can post back your cards also if you wish to. Summon special. Special. 
Another Blackwing. Another Blackwing on special. Another Blackwing on special. Even if you had all three, you can just do this because you have another Blackwing, except itself. But you have another Blackwing. Special, special, special. Maybe in one turn, you can summon out all four monsters. <laughs> Instant like that. And let's say you had another Blackwing monster. You had Compulse. You have another Blackwing. They're gonna Dark Hole. Compulse back your Gale. Fine, your monsters are destroyed. Summon. Special Summon Gale. Do the effect of Gale. Synchro if you wish to. Play whatever. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show you more deck profiles later. Peace.